Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. I just happened to sell this item and I was messaging with a friend and she's like, I've never heard of that. So I'm thinking maybe one of you haven't heard about it. So first off, we're going to talk about it as a category and different bolos that are in that category. And then we're going to go into the one I sold and we're going to talk about pricing. How did I price it? Did I price it right? Did I price it on the high end, the low end? Which platform did it sell on? Why do I think it sold on that platform? Different questions like that that you may have. How do I ship it? All of those things I'm going to talk about. So let's get started with the actual category and see what the biggest money selling items are in that category. All right, so the first item here, or what we're talking about, is the big comfy couch. And right here, the standout thing that you are going to see is the red nose. If you see a red nose, grab that item and look it up. If it is cheap, I always say grab it and run, but pay for it first. So this might be an item that you could find at a garage sale, a thrift store, even an estate sale. You can find these items anywhere. If I remember correctly, I got mine from the Goodwill bins. So I probably had a dollar or less in it. So what I did not know when I started this category video is the different characters. I was familiar with this little lady right here. However, I've never seen this guy or this gal, none of those, these things. So there are more characters that are a bolo than just the one I knew about. So this is also helping to educate myself. I am over on Mercari right now, and you're going to see that Mercari has big money bolos. A lot of times people say that Mercari is a garage sale app. You can't sell things for big money over there. I tend to disagree, especially with Plush. Uh, I feel like sometimes Plush sells for more on Mercari because a lot of times the items are flooded on eBay and those items, there's less on Mercari. And a lot of people that shop on Mercari do not shop on eBay. I also say that people use their credits from selling on Mercari to buy on Mercari. So if I sell on Mercari, my money goes into a little pot and eBay is now doing this. And I can spend that money on Mercari or I can withdraw it and take it out and put it into my bank account. Um, so that is optional for me. And again, eBay is now doing this, you guys. Let me know down in the comments, is anybody using that feature? Um, so if somebody has money in their Mercari account, they may just choose to spend it on Mercari instead of pulling the money and then looking elsewhere. So let's go through and kind of look at some of these characters. This guy right here sold for $349. Another reason I like to look at solds on Mercari is because they don't have returns and a sale is a sale. <laughs> Typically, there's very few cases where people can return an item or cancel an order. I mean, it does happen. I don't know if it stays in the solds if it is actually canceled. Now, we all know on eBay... If you cancel a transaction, it is still in the solds. If it's an unpaid item, it is still in the solds, which can be really confusing when you're searching comps. So a good place to look for comparables is on Mercari. Another good reason to be on the platform, even if it's just for research. Um, I do have a link down below that you can use that you will get $10 to shop. It's my referral link. And if you sell $100 worth of stuff, you get another $20 to shop. So that's $30 total for using the platform and signing up to join. So if you want to use that referral link, it's down below. I appreciate it. I also get a credit to shop and we all love free money, right? Uh, just invest in your business, maybe buy something and resell it and then turn that 30 into even more. All right, so let's look. We've got Granny and it looks like uh, Garbanzo and then... I'm not sure what this one says. Lunette, maybe? Not sure, but three characters here. I think her name is Molly, if I remember. Yes, Molly. So here you go, $300, 315 
There's this guy again for 300. She went for 200 and 200 here. Now, having the original tag is going to increase the value of your item in most cases. And size of plush definitely matters. Here we have fuzzy and wuzzy. Those went for 188 in the original packaging. Again, going to bring the value of your item up. So definitely be on the lookout for the red nose. Now, this one says this is the couch. <laughs> so there you go. If you ever see this couch, it looks like it sold for 137 here and 114 here. This looks like grandma, 115. So yeah, definitely. Um, here's the two uh, dust bunnies, I think is what they're calling them. $90. How fun is this category? Definitely, definitely. And it looks like there's a cat. So here is, is that a cat? 78. There, I think it's a cat or maybe it's a dog. I don't know. But $75. But again, the red nose. The red nose is the key thing that is going to make this item stand out if you're digging through a bunch of plush. All right. So let's go over to eBay. And I'm going to search highest to low. I am not going in to confirm any of these sales. But it looks like this is the big comfy couch sofa set from 1997. And exclusive sold at Target. Again, you guys, when things are exclusive, that's going to bring the value up. So Lunette, Molly, Fuzzle, Wuzzle. Or, I'm sorry, Fuzzy, Wuzzy and Snickle Fretz. <laughs> are who are included in this. And then I believe Molly. Oh, wait, it does say Molly. Let's see. So I don't see the grandma in here. Here is Major Bedhead, this guy, 199 here. All right. So 199.99 for the 22 inch plush. And what was he selling for over on Mercari? It looks like he went for. I think this is the same guy, 349 and 300. But there's also one here for 199. I mean, we can keep scrolling down and see people that undersold it, 84. And the sizes, I can't really see without going into the listing. So they may have different sizes. The one I sold was nine inches. All right, so here's the granny. She's in the original packaging, 199. 159 right here. So it looks like this guy sold for more on Mercari. So if you have him on eBay, you might want to think about getting him over to Mercari. Here is the cat, but that one is in Canada. Let's see. So we've got a 24 inch jumbo. They took a best offer from 119. This one is 14 inches. So I'm going to show you guys what I got for my nine inch. They're calling it a rag doll. Here is Snickle, Snickle Fritz. Snickle Fritz. Am I saying that right? 112. So 112 for that on eBay. I think it went for more on eBay. See one down here for 55. Some of this also is people not doing their research and not knowing the value of their items. So definitely always, always look up solds. She's got some additional things here. Wonder what those are. They little hair bows, maybe. All right. So you can kind of see the prices that these are going for. Big money, definitely. So here is the nine inch. We're going to specifically talk about the nine inch beanbag plush because that is what I sold. And I want to see if you guys think that I sold it for a good, a good price. Did I undersell it? Did I do well? And here we go. And I believe I got mine at the bins. I'd have to go back and look, but I'm pretty sure it was the Goodwill bins. It'll be in a future what sold video. So here is Molly, the nine inch plush. She is in her original packaging here for 135. And I'm going to tell you what I sold mine for. So just hang tight. 125. I will tell you I sold mine on Mercari faster. It was cross posted and it sold faster on Mercari. 125 for the set of three. And Molly is 16 inches, so that's not really a good comparable. I had the 9-inch Molly, okay? Here in the original packaging, 100 bucks approximately, 94 for the set, 73 for the two pieces here. So you got Luna and Molly, 9-inch, $73. 
Uh, Molly looks like she had a haircut here. 62. And again, I'm not confirming that all of these sold. So that is something that is important to do, especially on eBay. Nine inch, 65 plus shipping. 59 for the two. That looks like the same listing. So I'm guessing somebody bought it. They didn't pay. They relisted it and it sold again. And if you look at the dates, August 7th, it sold, probably didn't pay. They relisted it and it sold August 26th. So seeing these two side by side is a good way to know that this was an unpaid item. That's one thing when you're doing research that you can look at. But sometimes they're not always right next to each other like that. $59.99 for the nine inch, or no wait, nine and a half inch on this one. And another one here. This one kind of looks most like mine. 60 bucks plus shipping, 60 cross through. Okay, so we've looked at the nine inch Molly over here on eBay. Let's go over to Mercari. $80. And that one I did check was plus shipping. So this is the highest sold on eBay. This one is not new with tags. This one is not in its original packaging. I want to say I had mine listed at 90 and I took a best offer of 75. Right here is my listing. So I am in the top three solds on Mercari. And definitely, if you look over here at eBay for the nine inch, I am on the higher end. I made more money selling this on Mercari than I did on eBay. It also sold faster on Mercari. Here's a nine inch. They took a best offer. We would have to go into Terapeak and actually see what this one sold. But mine sold for 75. I did have free shipping on it. Now, another question that I get a lot is, how did you ship your item? And specifically for this one, because it was a $75 item, I went ahead and put this one in a box. Now, this has sewn eyes and is just a plush. Easily, I could have put this in a poly mailer, but because it was a higher dollar item, I went ahead and boxed it. But I ship plush all the time in bubble mailers. And if they have plastic eyes, I usually put additional bubble wrap over the eyes and then just put it into a poly mailer that is padded. I use the padded ones. You could also bubble wrap the plush and put it in a regular poly mailer. That's completely up to you. Or a box is a fine option. But the question I get most is, do you bag it or do you box it? And really, it just depends on the item. I decided to box this one. Do I think it would have been okay going in a poly mailer? Absolutely. All right, so I am on the high end of solds for Molly, the nine inch Molly. 65 here, 59, 57, 53, 51, 42. Uh, one thing that I will mention to you guys is I am a patient reseller. I list it and forget it. I had this listed for, I believe, 90. Somebody actually bought it and the transaction failed. Uh, the payment did not go through. So I messaged them and I said, go ahead and fix your payment info and submit your offer again. Well, I did not hear back for a couple of days and somebody else reached out to me and asked what my lowest price was. I said, 75 because I had just sold it for more than 75, but the transaction failed. So I wanted to stick firm at $75 on this. So that is what I decided to do. You're going to see other prices like, look, $15, $19, $20, $25. There are people that will go onto these platforms and somebody may be willing to pay $25 for this, relist it at $75 and wait for the right buyer. Now, or uh, let's see, what's the top selling one? $80. $80 plus shipping is the top one. So I could buy this for $25 on Mercari and I could sit and wait and hold out for the $80 plus shipping. It is definitely possible to shop on platforms, but you may have to pay a little more. Now this one right here, I don't think she, the lunette, I don't think she was going for as much, but I think I, I also have, let's see, let's go back over here to Mercari 
And well, I mean, right here, she's $55. She sold for we're back on Mercari. So again, I like looking at solds on Mercari because I know the item sold, but here's both of them for 60. So what do you guys think? Did I price my item? Well, did I make good money? Is being patient the way to go? Here's one that sold for 65. Here's one that sold for 65. I think I did well. I priced it on the higher end and I waited for the right buyer for my item. So yes, you can race to the bottom and be the lowest and maybe you'll sell it quicker or maybe somebody will think there's something wrong with your item because you have it too cheap. But definitely, definitely always do your research on what the items are selling for. Research is really, really important. Um, yeah, so $75 free shipping on Mercari. My items sold faster on Mercari in this scenario. I talk to you guys all the time about getting your plush on Mercari. I love the platform plush, jewelry, um, any just stuffed animals in general, but toys also do well on Mercari. So getting your items cross-posted, I feel, is really important. There are other platforms. I've actually been seeing a lot of um, Etsy, vintage plush on Etsy. People are doing really well. And I keep saying, if I had more hours in the day, I would be getting my vintage plush over on Etsy. I do use List Perfectly to cross-post. I start my items on eBay, and then I cross-post to the other platforms. Now, what I recommend is starting your item in List Perfectly. This is if you're like, I will just say overwhelmed would be a good word for <laughs> how much I have going on with my reselling. I'm now doing about six shows on whatnot. So um, that's a week, six shows on whatnot. I'm trying to keep up with YouTube. I'm trying to keep up with eBay um, and cross posting. So it is a lot. If you are only a reseller, you don't have YouTube, you don't have whatnot, uh, definitely, definitely cross post. <laughs> That's what I would recommend. Now, whatnot, if you guys have not come over to my whatnot shows, definitely come check it out. You can get some really great deals. I have a different mentality on whatnot. You can check out some of my live shows. I do keep some of them up under the live. So if you go to my YouTube channel and click on live, you can see what sold on whatnot. Um, I'm leaving those up to help those of you that are on whatnot or want to learn more about whatnot, different things that you can sell and kind of price points that I'm getting. So again, it's going to depend on your audience, how many people you have there. And I'm doing categorized shows. So it's going to show you, you know, just different examples of selling on whatnot. If you use my referral link down below, you can get $15 to shop when you join whatnot. I also have a referral link to become a seller. If you use that link, it is going to tell whatnot that I referred you and you may get accepted quicker. So definitely check those links out below. Let's go back to list perfectly. So if you're not <laughs> uh, doing YouTube a video a day and all of that jazz and you have time to be on more than three platforms, I'd think about Etsy. Definitely think about Etsy. Um, a lot of people are doing Depop and Grailed. I did Grailed for a little while, but I don't really do a whole lot of vintage clothing. I was putting my snapback hats over there. So depending on what you sell, research the platforms and feel out what is a great platform for you. I think Grailed and Depop are a lot of clothes and vintage items in those categories, streetwear, stuff like that. Let me know down in the comments if you sell on those platforms if you've had success and all of that. Um, if there was one other uh, platform that I would branch out to with what I sell, it would be Etsy. And again, I sold on Etsy and I like it, but um, just not enough hours in the day. I focus on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari for my three main platforms of reselling. Um, list perfectly. So I start on the plat on eBay and cross post to the other platforms. Again, I recommend starting on list perfectly and hitting as many platforms as you can. There is a link down below that you can check out that shows you how to use the catalog, which means listing into list perfectly and also how to do it like I do it. And there are way more perks to using the catalog than doing it how I do it. So even though I do it how I do it, I recommend actually doing it the other way. 
but uh, I just don't have enough hours in the day to do it that way. Uh, because I already have my base of, I think, four or 5,000 listings in eBay. So I don't want to recreate and um, start over and start fresh because I'm one of those people that I don't want half my listings one way and half another way. I would have to stop and relist all those items into the catalog. And I just, I don't have the time to do it right now. I know other resellers have done it and um, they've had success with it. So if you want to try list perfectly, you can get 30% off uh, with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies. That is my referral link. So um, if you watch that video down below and you feel like it's something that you want to try, you can use that link. Also, they just came out with the Pro Plus plan. There is a special going on right now until October 31st where you can get the Pro Plus for the price of Pro for three months, but that is only valid until October 31st. I do have a video that looks like this. I will link it down below. That's going to give you more information on what the Pro Plus plan is and what it offers. Um, it's got a lot of new features, you guys. So definitely check out that video and get in on that special offer. That is a separate video than my tutorial, my how-to. So there's going to be two videos down in the com or description that are going to talk about List Perfectly. I highly, definitely recommend that you check it out. Uh, you do have to be on the pro plan. So you would have to upgrade to the pro plan. Uh, you can use my referral code for upgrades as well. Uh, I think it kind of depends on how many upgrades you've done and if you've used a code. So it may or may not work for an upgrade, but if you're joining List Perfectly, it's definitely going to give you that 30% off, but put it in if you try to upgrade too, because it might work. All right. So check out those two videos on List Perfectly. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Again, come follow me on Whatnot. If you're not on Mercari, definitely get your items on Mercari. Uh, Poshmark and Mercari are down below my referral link. So you do get that money to shop. So check those out. And I didn't really go over Poshmark. A lot of times when I do these style of videos, I will check Poshmark for comps. But in this situation, I did not do that. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Yes, you can sell plush on Poshmark. Um, have I sold plush on Poshmark? I, I think so. <laughs> I'd have to go look. I know I have plush listed there. Um, my go-to for plush is definitely eBay and Mercari. And I always say if it is a plush that is, um, you can't find any others like it, try an auction first on eBay and list it high and put it up for auction, especially those realistic animals. They seem to do really, really well on eBay auction. But if it doesn't sell on auction, then cross post it for sure and price it high and wait on the right buyer if you're patient. OK. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And I will see you at the next one.